Welcome, welcome. Back to Farming Simulator 22. Playing from the PlayStation 4. Back here, Kittle Farms. And, uh, we got lots of wheat and canola growing. We've done all of our production from the oil mill and uh, the bread bakery, I believe. We don't have any oil sitting here waiting. I think we sold everything we wanted to sell. Did we already sell everything? I don't know. Ah, oh, there's some bread sitting over here. So there is some bread we could come pick up if we felt like it. A thousand liters of bread. Not literally pick up with our hand. The object's too heavy, damn it. The object's too heavy. We know that. We know that. All right, so let's go ahead and... Well, first I should probably open my damn chat, huh? Come on. Got to say hi to some people. I'm sure Bank Station's going to be in here soon. Beth and Marmello. Hey, there's Beth first. Marmello, boom, go the calm and mellow, excellent farm. Mello, we missed you at the coin club meeting. I know you were in there earlier, and I know you said you had some, uh... You had to go out to a lunch and stuff or whatever. Yeah, so, I mean, I... I'm not saying that, like, I expected you to be there and you weren't there. I just said we missed having you there. But thanks again for the super chat at the beginning of the coin club meeting, Marmello. Did appreciate that. Hope you had a good, uh... A good day out on the town. He says, go Skittles, second silver medal. Oh, yeah, your second place in the chat there. Beth was first. Beth wins the gold. All right, so what do we got going on here? I think first things first. Oh, yeah, that's right. We didn't sell this stuff yet. We just started piling it up because we don't sell eggs until November, I think. And we got more eggs here to push around at some point. Maybe we'll do that next month. I think what I want to do is get my water truck and top off the greenhouses. Something we got to do every couple months. Now the greenhouses, having them, having six greenhouses, having them all on uh, automatic selling, not the optimal way to make tons of money, but it does get us about 12,000 bucks a month. And you know what? An extra 12 grand a month. I don't know. Anybody need an extra 12 grand a month? I think so. I think so. Clever coin name with a 5.00 super chat saying, hey, this isn't... Oh, shoot. Clever, was this supposed to be Call of Duty night? Were we supposed to do Call of Duty tonight? Oh, no. Oh, Beth's internet went out for a moment. That would have been tragic. What would we do if the internet went out? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's like, serially? Can't have that happen. Let's go ahead and overload some agua here. Was tonight Call of Duty night? I can't remember, Crover. Shoot. Is there still a Call of Duty night? Uh, well, I mean, it's my duty to farm, so I'm answering the Call of Duty by farming, if that's what you mean. You would cope with other activities? I don't know, man. I don't know. It would be rough. It'd be rough. water for one more greenhouse. Then we gotta go refill. Do the chickens have large talons? They actually do. They have huge talons. I wouldn't mess with them. Alright, let's go fill up our trailer. here at our lovely water tower from Elm Creek. Tapping into the Elm Creek public water supply. As soon as it gives me a fill option, at some point along here it should, right there. L3 to fill. Beautifully. Beautiful. You thought that was the night I spread nothing but for like We spread a lot. Well, bullshit. Cow, cow manure is one of the best fertilizers. And uh, spreading the cow manure on your field is actually a great way to fertilize the crops. So if you see us ever spreading a bunch of bullshit, that's uh, one of the ways to do it. That's one of the ways to do it. Do the chickens have large talons? 
Yes, they do. Let's see what's in the used tractor market. Speaking of fun, fun stuff. Ooh, we got a two-row billet planner. Ooh. That's 56% off. That's for planting sugarcane. Should we start getting in the sugarcane business? That's a two-row billet planner right there. For half price. Only 36 grand. That means we can plant two rows of sugarcane at once. And I believe those little tanks... I think these tanks, the way this works, is they also uh, squirt fertilizer on the sugar cane so you can fertilize and plant at once. The billet planter. Mmm, I might buy that. Even though I don't really want to get in the sugar cane just yet. But maybe. But maybe. Therizinos are called tickle chickens. Is that what they're really called? I've I've heard people call them that like in videos and stuff, but I don't know who else really calls them that, except a couple nerds on YouTube. Tickle chickens. I don't think they tickle anything. They like they, they rip your face off with their huge talons. I kinda want this. Let's actually go in as our thing and let's look at the sugar cane industry packs and see what kind of items you would need to do sugar cane. Well, we already have a tractor. We don't need that. A single row billet planner for 54 grand. Well, if we buy that double double row, we don't need that. And this here is a harvester. I think this is a single row harvester. A pull behind harvester. So we could get it done with that machine and with that planter. That's all we would need. And then, of course, you could attach the trailer to the back of that, I believe is how it works. So you'd need the trailer, too. Don't need the weight. And there's some billets to plant sugar cane. That's all you really need. Now, they have larger sugar cane technology. Like, there's the two-row planter that we could get for half price right now. Less than half price. Hmm. Is that the only harvester they got? The one-row harvester? One meter wide? I thought they had a two-row pull behind... I guess they don't. Really? 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 Just a single row. What brand is that? Lizard? Can we go in and shop by brand? Lizard? Yeah, it's just that one. All the rest of this is just a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, it's a one... Damn! Actually, I want to look at sugarcane technology here. Or you could buy this massive beast here. This will harvest two rows at once, but it costs 349 grand. You can add a trailer hitch to it for 800 bucks. I mean, if you're going to buy this monster, you might as well spend the extra 800 bucks for a trailer hitch, right? Holy crap. Why is that even an option? They're going to charge you... Look, I mean, if I'm at the dealership buying this thing, I'd be like, brah, 349 grand? You're throwing that trailer hitch in for free, bro. I ain't paying an extra 800 bucks for a trailer hitch. You're throwing that in for free. Okay, we got full water. Hey, Bob Pop, how you doing? What you do is you get fields, you buy farm equipment, you plant things, you can fertilize it, you can take plow land, and then you wait for the crops to grow. You can harvest them. And uh, right now I'm taking water to fill, put water in my greenhouse tanks. I got greenhouses over here. I filled up my water tank at the water, uh, water tower. And now I'm going over here to my greenhouses. I'm gonna line up the center of my trailer right about there. And I'm gonna fill that with water. That's what we do. Hey, Bank Station, how you doing? Banks, are you still grinding the hell out of, uh, out of squads? Dude, that's awesome. Two crowns each. Holy crap. I mean, that's like so good right now. Let me fill this other one. And we still got about a half a tank of water left. These others we already filled. Now we're going to go park our trailer.
Then you can get inside the tractors too, Bob Pop. It's kind of cool. Oh, Marmello with a huge message blocked by YouTube. Well, let's uh, unpack that and see what it says. Sup, clever totes, Beth. Winking at kitty cat, kitty cat duty to trimming them sad little teas and koalas. Missed the auction. Wah. Had some in real life mates that keep me refilling that kitty cat tea. Was so obligated to chat with them. So, obligated? That, that, does that mean, like, obligated? Is that what you're trying to say? So you were obligated to chat with them? Yeah. <laughs> so the people that fill your teacups? Did you drink tea? Did you drink tea with them? <laughs> I bet you did. Alright. So you're probably, like, on seventh tea time, then. Alright, we'll wait and do the eggs next... Next time. But do the egg... Do the chickens have large talons. Yeah, they got large talons. But do they have food? Oh my god, no, they're almost out of food. They only got... They have hardly any food. Look at them. Their grain is all the way down to 75 liters. They're almost completely out of food. We need to feed the chickens. So that they have... Keep having to have large talons. So let's go over here. Oh my god, the chickens are almost out of food. How dare we? Let's get our trailer. Line that up. Let's go get some... Let's go get some wheat to feed the chickens. Pull that out of our silo right here. Start filling with wheat. Oh, Banks had, has had Witch for, like, years now. Like, over a year, probably. Bob was at 392 crowns when he started playing it, and now he got 401. Nice. Yeah, dude. Banks, that was awesome. We played squads with Ed and Jordan for, like, not even an hour, and we won twice, I think. So that was, like, four crowns for each of us, just, like, super fast. Very awesome. I always get stuck on this, so... Probably gonna get stuck on this. They have very small fill point to give the chickens grain. The first one's easy to get, usually. Come on, right there. Give them some wheat. So they keep making me eggs. Yeah, Banks just unlocked the next crown rank. I saw him, he did a video. You can watch on Banks' channel if you want to know where Banks is at. Um, he got uh, over, he got up to 2,004 crowns, and now he doesn't win the next crown rank until he gets to 2,144. It's 140 more crowns to get to the next crown rank. It gets, like, pretty crazy. But he'll get there, especially with squads, uh, extreme squads. That thing goes quick. Is that a fill right there for me? No. Let's try to sneak this in here a little closer. Come on, is it going to get a fill icon? Come on, fill it, fill it, fill it. No, it's not. Oh, right there, we got it, we got it. We had it for a second, right there. Oh, no, nope, let's straight it down. Right there, yep. Just going to glitch it just in the right spot. No, it didn't work. It was probably filling for the other section. Come on, get in there. Right there. There we go. No, is that one already full? Wait. This one has 9,000. This one has 799. Okay, it's not working. It's not letting me fill like that. Okay. Let's go around and try again. A 
Let's try to come in like this. Real close. Uh, get over that. Okay. That's about as close as I can get. Actually, it's too close. Come on, I'm stuck. Let's... Come on. Damn it. Okay, let's try to get through here. Yeah, the tra see the trailer? It bottoms out here because the ground's too screwed up. So I can't get out of there. Come on, keep pulling, keep pulling, keep pulling. And you can't back this thing up worth a damn. Or I can't. Let me just try. No. Gotta straighten it out first. And then can I back it up? Let's go real slow backing it up. Right there, huh? There we go. Damn! Chickens are a pain in the butt. Can't wait to see what Tad looks like. We're not gonna name every single one of the... Spinos we get after a Lincoln. Come on. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think not. No, um, yeah, I don't think so. No, what we could do, though, is, uh, well, and it's gonna be weird, because that's gonna get weird real quick. Because we're gonna find another high-level male, right? And then we're gonna have to name that something else, and we're gonna breed that with Mary Todd. We're not gonna breed Abe and Mary Todd. I mean, we can, but... And then once they have kids, we're gonna breed them with one of the parents to make even better ones, or breed the kids together. And it's, it'll just get weird. It'll get weird real fast. It'll get re it'll get weird. Tad. Jeez. Alright, so we just filled off and topped off. Whoa! I just hit my trailer. Topped off the chicken food. So let's drop that trailer off right about there. I think there's one or two more things to check here. Um, I guess before skipping to the next month, do we want to get any contracts in? I don't think so, but let's just verify. There's a sewing contract. That's potatoes. We're not doing that. That's cotton. We're not doing that. A couple really good cultivating jobs, but those take forever. So we're going to skip those. We'll check the used tractor market one more time. I kind of... I mean, I kind of want that. kind of want that. But what are we going to do with sugar? Like, if we grow sugar, what are we going to do with that? I guess we can get a sugar mill. But we don't have a sugar mill. Don't worry, Mr. Marmelo's still here watching. He's going to lurk. Okay, Marmelo. Okay, Marmelo. Oh, what's the crown count? You're on special 8th tea time, 15 minutes. Duty's hard. I missed that. Sorry about that. And then... I'm missing a lot of chat. Hold on. Hoping you'll get the witch in season 6. It is season 6. Uh, Mr. Marmello with a 5.69 New Zealand says, Weird is great. Go. Yeah, Tad. You guys really want me... You guys want me to go play Ark right now? Is that what you guys want? Jeez. Thanks, Mr. Marmelo. Enjoy your special eighth tea time. Um, if I get that, then I need to get a sugar mill. So if I go into here, go into construction, how much is a sugar mill? Go over to production. Factories, I think. Bakery, carpentry, dairy. Now, see, if we get a dairy... And then start raising cows, we can add milk and sugar in there to make chocolate. So if we get sugar, we can... If we get cows and sugar together, we can get chocolate, which chocolate's good. Seeing what else we got here that we can use with sugar. Bakery, you can put sugar in there along with eggs. We got sugar and eggs. We'd have to also get milk and butter. 
and we got strawberries. So if we get sugar and cows, we could also then start making cakes at the bakery, and that's big bucks. Um, so we need sugar and milk. So just sugar alone doesn't do much for us. Now the sugar mill, of course, will spit out sugar. We could just sell the sugar. The sugar mill costs uh, 80,000 bucks. Damn. Damn! Just seeing what else we got there. There's another dairy. It's, it's selling points. What's under selling points? It's a debris crusher, fast food restaurant. Do any of these buy just sugar? The restaurant, pizzeria. Does the restaurant just buy sugar? Yes, they do. Okay. And I'm sure the grocery store does too. We already got that. So we could just sell sugar at the grocery store. Bank says no, do fall guys? Yeah, that's probably right. You're hoping that you can get Gold Witch before SS1? Yeah, Bob, I mean, I'm right now at 400. What am I at for crowns? I think I'm at 423. So I need you need 444 to get full gold witch. So yeah, we're getting close, dude. Especially if we get some of these uh get some more victories during extreme squads. Marmelo, spicy spicy, had to for the tad. And then he has uh the Nepal flag. I think that's Nepal. Panda. And then is that a chef? Beard, tornado, stars, monkeys, raccoons. Unicorn, Zebra, Dragon, T-Rex, Gators, Buffalo, Skunk, and then three more monkeys. Yeah, you got the whole zoo there. Dude, you were watching the video at work, and you were trying to get Mary Todd into your trap, and you said, don't turn around. And then I turned around, and your office wondered why you last. I know. Kyle, I know better. Why? I mean, I, 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 why did I do that? Actually, I want to look in here one more time. Construction. And let's go over to Animals. And under cows, wow, cows, cow production's expensive. S to get the biggest cow barn with a feeding robot, a feeding robot costs 722 grand. If we just get the cow barn, barn that's lar a large cow barn, it's 518. But if we want a feeding robot, it's an extra 200,000 bucks. The hell's a feeding robot? If we get the small cow barn, it's only 45 cows and 250 grand. Or we can get a little tiny cow pasture. But it looks like we gotta put water into this, maybe? Or outputs water? That's weird. A little cow pasture only holds 15 cows. But it would get us a little bit of, uh... A little bit of milk and stuff. If we wanted to go low, 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 uh... Low-key cows there. There's a little bit of... Anyway, Master Marmello, jeez. Yeah, I know. I turned around right at the wrong spot. I was like, no! <laughs> I'm like, don't turn around, don't turn around. And then why the hell did I turn around, right? All right, so at least we got an idea now of what it would take to get cows and sugar and all that going. But I think I'm going to pass on the billet planner. I think we're a little far... I don't have the land to get cows going either. But well, let's see what other animals. What would we else... Bees. Somebody emailed me and said, get some bees. Bees are actually pretty cheap. Look at that. 19,000 for the biggest beehive. 33 Langstroth hives. Or you could just get a, like a little four stack for 4,400 bucks. Or a little 10 hive set up. I don't even think you have to do anything. You just set them down and they make honey. You just set them down and they make honey. And it improves the yield of certain crops. So let's actually look at this and think about this. Let's go into the help menu. Because I kind of want bees. Don't we want some bees? It would be the bees' knees to get some bees, wouldn't it? Feels good you got your cool. Congratulations, Bob Pop. That's a Not everybody gets 400 crowns in that game, I'll tell you. Not everybody even gets 100 crowns, let alone 400. So let's go down and look at bees. Uh... Animals. Types. Bees. Okay. Bees produce honey, which can be processed further or sold directly. Place your beehives next to fields and you'll soon be living in the land of milk and honey as the bees will increase the yield of canola, 
sunflower, and potato fields. Honey will be delivered to the freely placeable delivery area. Okay. So, I right now, I right now have a canola field. I actually have two canola fields because we're making canola oil here in our oil mill. So I have this massive canola field right here. So if I place down some bees, like, I don't know where you have to place them, but let's just say I place them right here, like alongside of the middle of that field, I should get improved canola yield. And I'll get some honey. And I'll get some honey. So Mr. Marmello is coming right out of his tea break. He's probably, he's probably sitting there sipping on some tea at the table with the family. He's got me in the background somewhere playing. Supposedly, he's supposed to not be listening to me right now. He hears me talking about bees. He runs back over to his phone and he's like, yes, go bees, bees. <laughs> and yes, Beth wants bees too. So I think let's put some bees down right here because if we keep growing canola and then also at some point, if we want to grow sunflowers or potatoes on this field, it would be good because the beehive would be here. So let's try to get a beehive going, right? So we'll go to construction. We switch over to animals. We go down to bees. And does it matter like how big of a beehive we put in? I don't know. I have no idea. But let's zoom out, like, really far. Try to get to the center of this field, right? I don't know, like, how big the range is. I think right here, I'm looking at the sides of my screen, right here is the center point of this field, I think. So if we zoom in, and then back up right here, this is where I want to put my bees. Like, right here across the road from that field, I think? No idea. No idea. But I think if we're going to do bees... We should go big, right? So let's get the biggest beehive, the 33 Langstrom hives. Langstroth. And that's it right there. And does it matter which way we do this? Like, if we spin it around? Well, yeah, we probably want the hives facing the bees, huh? Or, sorry, the bees facing the road. So let's spin ourselves around. And put them somewhere right around here, huh? Right up as close to the road as we can do it. Right there. Is this a good spot? Do we agree? Then put your cell point next to your store. Oh, they're buzzing. They're buzzing. Should I, be, should I do two beehives? They're not that expensive. Overlaps. So you got to build them that far apart. That far apart to make them. I don't know. We don't have tons of money, so... We'll just do go with one. So I'm going to cancel that. And now it looks like to we have to put a beehive honey pallet location. So I need to put this down. Do I have to put it next to the bees? I mean, right there, I could put it. Right there. Or, I mean, Kyle says, put your cell point next to my store? Really? Like, can I actually do that? So, can I actually put my cell point for the honey way back at my store? Like, is it, like, that much glitched? Could I really do this? I thought it would have to be next to the hive. And then like, if I put down tons of beehives, will all the honey go right to this one spot? Is that how this stuff works? I mean, I'm going all the way back to my store here. The Marmello Egg and uh, Tea Emporium. So I could put that like right over here. Overlaps, overlaps. I could put it like right here. Or I could put it, like, right... Is 
This all overlaps. I can't put it over here anywhere. I can't put it over here anywhere. I can put it like right here. I can put it, but I, I don't know. I think I want to put it over here to the side a little bit, even though it's, you know, I'm gonna push the honey with my machinery. I don't know. Is this weird? Like, where do I put it? The numbers on the ground are making me nervous because the more the number is over 200, the more landscaping. Like, if I put it right, like, where was it? It was. I just thought it was like 20 something. Like right there, like 200. That means it's gonna be pretty flat. If I put it over here, it means it's gonna do more landscape work. But you know what? I don't know where to put it. I don't know. Cut it close to the store, huh? You like doing coins or games better? I like it all. I like it all. Let's just put it right here, kind of lined up with the store. Uh, place item. Only one per farm allowed. Okay. So now, apparently, if I go to my beehive... Range, 150 meters. And there's bees flying out of it. Okay. How long is 150 meters? Is the range. Does that mean I'm getting extra yield bonus? Like, I guess 150 meters worth. I don't know. I guess that's pretty far. Does it cover this whole field? I don't know. No idea. But let's go back over here real quick. And now look at our honeybee location right here. And, I don't know, it's not doing anything. So let's go here to... Do I have bees under here now? No. Is it under animals? No. So there's no bees aren't in here at all now. I guess I just gotta fast forward a couple months and see if some honey shows up here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Totes Kyle, go big or you're not coming back. Oh yeah. <laughs> back to lurking. Back to lurking. A dog that lived next to you died, Bob? That's sad. Yeah, that's what... You know what? Animals are tough, dude. Animals are tough. You know, it's like... They're fun, they're great, but you know that you're probably gonna outlive them, so you know it's only a matter of time. Kinda sucks. Alright, wear gilly armor. <laughs> spray bug spray, too, yeah. Alright, so I think let's just skip to the next month and see what happens. So we gotta go back to our house. I guess I'm just gonna get... I guess I'm just gonna get some, uh, honey. One more... letter... eggs... strawberries... monkey... organs... tea time? <laughs> okay. I don't know what the organ thing is, but... Let's go check out my honey situation now. Should have run down the street and take a look. Now that it's April. Better be a big pile of honey there, huh? Will there be? Oh, there's something there! There's a pallet of honey. Objects too heavy. Okay. That all... I mean, is that... It just fits there, huh? Just one pallet of honey? And where do we sell honey at? And when do we sell honey? You wish dogs for lives long? Yeah, Bob, you know? That's tough, isn't it? It's tough. But it's part of the deal getting a dog or getting a cat or getting anything. It's just, you know, part of the deal. We all... We all deal with that. It's kind of a bummer. But there's goods and pros and cons, you know? Pros and cons. A lot of fertilizing jobs. That's something we might take advantage of. Eggs. Oh, we're in the red on eggs. That means we got to move the eggs. Uh, what was I looking for? Honey on here, right? Where the hell's honey on here? There it is. Honey. They'll buy honey for three thousand bucks at the Mellow E and Teg Mellow Egg and Tea Emporium, and the best price to sell honey is in February or March or April. Well, shit, it's April right now. 
It's April right now. So, look at all these eggs we got piled up. These fucking chickens, man. It's April right now, so let's sell these honey. It seems, whoa, it seems like honey is like a good deal. Like, we spent 19,000 bucks on the bees, right? 19,000? And in one month, it already gave me this many, it already gave me this much honey. We're just gonna push this right up to the store. I guess we're gonna get these eggs too sold. We we'll get those eggs sold too, I guess. Just because they're in my way. Mistakes were made. Oh, man. Oh, something's selling a bunch of stuff. Damn. God dang it. I can't drive this thing. Oh, yeah. It's not gonna suck. Wait, is it light enough for me to pick it up now? Uh, no. Almost. Object too heavy. Shoot. Mistakes were made. Might need to put the pallet fork on here. What I wanted to do with that one. Now we're gonna go over here. I'm just gonna try to tip it over. Lay it flat. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, keep selling. Okay, the eggs are gone now. Good. Now, we gotta roll this pallet over because you can't sell. Everybody knows that you can't sell upside down honey. Upside down honey is not good for the market. You gotta only sell right side up honey. If you had upside down honey, nobody's gonna buy it. Would you guys really buy upside down honey? Of course you wouldn't. Damn it, how am I gonna flip that over? All right, let's just do this the right way. Son of a bitch. Already, honey is being a pain in the butt. Honey is being a quite the pain in the butt already. Whoa! I did not like. What the hell was that? Uh, that was a weird glitch. What the hell was that? I barely touched it. I don't even think I did touch it. What the hell was that nonsense? That honey rubber banded like a mofo. Now I can't pick this up. It's like up against the wall. Damn it. Whoa! Dude, that honey is screwed up! Look what it did to my truck just there! That stuff like rubber bands you like crazy! Now let's just try to pick this pallet up. Move it like a normal pallet. There we go, we just sold that honey. 1100 bucks, not bad. Holy shit. That was crazy, wasn't it? All right, 
Holy smokes. Turtles live a long time? Yeah. Let's see. Don't worry, Beth's still watching. It's so sad when a dog gets old. Sure is, yep. You hope a Fall Guys movie happens? Really? Did someone say they're gonna do a Fall Guys movie? I think a I think a Netflix TV show would be good. Like a show on net on a How do you zoom in and out on this thing? Oh there we go. It just wasn't letting me because I was at the back of the map. I think a Netflix show or like a live Fall Guys. Like Fall Guys Live, like a real competition. People like play Fall Guys, like for real. I mean, it'd be kind of like that damn Squid Game thing they had, though, right? I thought this was faster to use the bucket to just push the eggs. I'm not sure if this is any faster than me just picking these up one at a time and stacking them. I'm not sure this is any faster. I mean, really, I don't need to get them lined up really nice. That, I mean, that actually worked. Because they only move three at a time. So I guess sometimes it's faster. Oh, that's a little wonky. No, don't move that pallet like that. Problem is, is these sale points don't have as that much room, so you gotta clear them up every couple months, otherwise there's no room for new eggs to go. You gotta have room for new eggs, people. Right? Gotta have room for new eggs. Gotta. Gotta. Uh, Tom Holland said it, but he was just saying. I don't know who Tom Holland is. Should I know who Tom Holland is? Maybe I should. Is he, like, part of Fall Guys, or is that another streamer? Nah, I gotta do this to the other side. The incline's too big right here. That's a little bit faster than doing these one at a time. I mean, that's good enough right there, even. Get them eggs piled up. I gotta get this one from the other side. Need a more powerful tractor to push them? No, I don't think that's it. This thing pushes them fine. This thing pushes them fine. It's just lining them up to... And it's trying to... T like right here, I want to turn, but the back of my tractor's hitting the building, so I, I gotta keep going straight and then turn a little bit at a time. I'm not getting... I don't feel like I'm running out of power. And now I get stuck because the bucket's too low and then scrapes the uneven ground. So it's other issues. It's not the power. This thing has tons of power for it. I think I got plenty of power. It's more of like the terrain issue and being too close to this building. Like there I hit the corner of the building, but there I hit the eggs. Okay, perfect. Now we're just going to leave that one right there. That's fine. I just need to get them out of these little 
collection areas. And then uh, plenty of room for new eggs to spawn. Okay, okay. Tom Holland is Spider-Man, really? Oh. On Horizon's channel, the guy who plays Spider-Man. See, I'm old, I was born in the 1900s, and since, like, I was born, there's been, like, four different people that were Spider-Man, I think. There's been a lot of different Spider-Mans. Used tractor market. We got ourselves a little bale trailer. Got ourselves a medium John Deere 7R series. That ain't bad. And we got ourselves a roller. Hmm. Too bad I already bought this roller. And I think I paid full price. That sucks. Okay. What else do we got to do before we skip to May? Anything else that we need to do before we skip until May? Um, I mean, we could go make some money real quick doing some fertilizing jobs. I mean, there's seven grand and there's eight grand. Eh. Shoot. A lot of planting jobs that we could be doing. And it seems like because I don't do every one of these planting jobs, there's never any harvesting jobs. Like, the AI just doesn't plant their own fields, it seems. It's weird. You don't have any mods tonight to get rid of the Russian bots? Oh, is there a Russian bot? I don't know if that's a Russian bot anyway. Kahek, I don't know what you said there. I'm going to remove it. Um, we do English only in the chat. That doesn't look like a Russian bot, though. They're not putting in, like, a damn website link. I mean, there's probably some mods lurking. There's probably some mods lurking. There usually is. All right, so... I think what we do is we skip to the next, next uh, month. Because I really don't want don't need to do those contracts that bad. I want to get to where I'm harvesting. And I can't remember what month we harvest, but we'll have to take a look at that. Wow, why is it sleeping so long? There we go. Great demand at the debris crusher. Yeah, always the debris crusher like we care. Like we care. Is there more honey? Damn, more honey. Look at that. Like... Is it always just 640 kilograms of honey? Like, how do I know, like... It, like, what if I don't move this? Let's not move it for a month and see what happens. Will it tell me... Will it pack... Will it stack another one here? Like... Because that's a pain in the butt if you have to move honey every single month. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Let's actually look at... Well, let's go look at the used tractors first. Ooh, a steel drop deck. Ooh. Ooh, for 12 grand? That seems like a bargain, doesn't it? I mean, I'd go out and buy one of these for 12 grand right now, probably. I don't know, maybe not. Saddle track, what is this? What the hell is this? What the hell is this thing? What do you use this for? What the hell do you do with this? The Zerion 4200 saddle track. What the hell do you do with this? Huh. And then we got our Power Flex trailer that carries about anything. And then we got a grass mower. The A10 Crossflow Novacat. That's a big ass mower, Beavis. Okay. I really don't need any of that stuff. Okay. Really don't. Do I have a farm in real life? No, Bob. I used to have a. I used to have a, um, I used to grow up near farms and stuff when I lived in Illinois. There were a lot of corn and soybean farms around me. But it's, this game's pretty fun though. You, look, we got chickens make eggs and you gotta, you can buy chickens and feed them and you pick where you want to put them. I don't know, there's different animals. You can do cows, sheep, horses. Uh, there's other animals, I can't remember. Pigs. There's pigs. But we're growing our crops. We need to see when are we going to be able to harvest. That's what i got to figure out. Is 
saving content. There is the map. We, we're not going to be able to harvest wheat or canola until July, it looks like. Maybe not until August. So we got a couple more months, a couple months to go. But let's actually look at contracts. Any new contracts we can take? Uh, some more planting jobs. I can go plant sorghum in field 69, dudes. Uh, come plowing jobs. A couple more good fertilizing jobs. Cultivating jobs. Yeah. I say heck with it. I say heck with it. Let's just skip to the next month and see if the honey piles up. <laughs> you bought field 73 lot and created a whole new field in the big open air. Yeah, you know what? That's not a bad idea, Kyle. That's not a bad idea. Bob wants to know, have I cried? And it's C-R-I-E-D. It's C-R-I-E-D. Have I cried on stream before? Um, I don't think so. I don't think I have. Um, not that I remember. Have I cried on stream before? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think if I had anything going on to where I think I might cry, I'd probably just not be streaming. But All right, so let's go look at farmland. And what the saying here is if we bought field 73, you get all this extra land next to it. Which is great to put down like a sugar mill, an oil mill, a grain mill, a store, and you could do, or you could put animals over here or something. Or you just plow all this land into another big field. You could do that too. Hmm. 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 Okay. I don't know. You almost did the other night when I was chased by a purple spino. No, I mean, I might have laughed so hard that I almost started crying. That might have happened before. I don't think I've cried. Not that I can think of. Another tractor and another steel drop deck. This one's 17 grand. The other one's 12 grand. Why do you give me, like, the same things over and over? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's look at our contracts that are... Actually, no, we're going to go back. We're going to go check the honey. See if it's piled up. Heart killer, how you doing? Okay, so this bothers me a little bit about the honey. We skipped forward another month and there's still only one pallet here. So, if we move that one pallet, will another one immediately spawn in? Because we know that we get one pallet a month from our honey bee, from our bees. We were getting one a month anyway. So by not moving it last month, did we lose a whole pallet of honey? Did that cost us the pallet of honey? Or is it still here? Like, will it spawn in as soon as I move this out of the way? Let's just go sell this. That was a little over 1100 bucks. So did we just lose all that honey because we didn't move it? Because I'm looking over here. Where did it go? Wrong way. I was looking here, and there's no honey right here. And it doesn't tell us that there's more honey here ready to go. So did we just lose a pallet of honey because we didn't move it? Maybe. Maybe we did. What's up, Mikey? Hey, Mikey. Hmm. Slightly bothersome that we gotta move the honey every month. So I guess maybe instead of parking my truck, ah, I'm stuck up against the side of the building. Instead of parking this thing back here, maybe I just park it. Oh, come on, these things are so wonky. Whoops, I just hit that pallet. It's okay. Maybe I just park it right here each month. 
so that every month I can just hit, got hop in it real quick and push the honey forward. That means I got, I'm selling it every month instead of waiting till the peak of the market. Don't love that, but I mean, all the other things, like all the animals, show up here. Chicken, I don't, like that's weird. That's weird that there's no bees here. Here under production shows all my other things. It should show like bees here and like like I should be able to see what's going on and see exactly how much they're making each month, but like I'm a little nervous. Like if I put down another beehive, am I gonna get exactly as much honey so it's kind of a waste of money? Don't know. You oh certain months you just don't get a lot, you think so? I don't know. The two months that I looked at it, I got a whole pallet. So basically, like, I had that pallet there for last month. So basically you're saying this month I got zero honey? I don't buy that. I don't buy that. It's kind of weird. You're watching my live and you're playing GTA right now? Nice. Nice. Mikey got a new phone charger? Good, because the other one's about ready to burn your house down. Just push the pallet out of the box, and they don't go all the way, and then don't, well, yeah, I could save them up, like I'm, kind of like I'm saving up the eggs, I could just push it over to the side, and wait until, uh, the peak selling point in February, March, or February or March, it looks like. Like we do with the eggs, we save the eggs, and bread, we do bread in December. And we do eggs in November. Eggs are November. Bread and I think oil, we wait till December. Well, here it's saying canola oil in November. Either way, we gotta wait till winter on those. You also added in the mod where it stores 12 pallets. Oh, of honey? Oh, I don't have any mods on here. I don't know if you can do that mods like that on PlayStation 4. I'm not sure. But actually, let's go look at contracts before we skip another month. Bailing jobs, cultivating jobs, uh, fertilizing jobs, and plowing jobs. I should be doing all those, but I'm not gonna. But I'm not gonna. We're gonna how's the water looking over here? Let's look at our water situation. 15,000 liters in there. That's plenty. Let's go back in here. Skip another month. I want to be harvesting my food. Pop, pop, 007. Nope, no 008. No 008. Bob, how many... Were you watching Noah earlier for a while? Because I only watched for a little bit. Was Noah winning lots of crowns on extreme squads? Because I know he started the play... I was there right, right when he started his God Squad with Banks and a couple other people. But, uh... Did, did they win a lot? Because I played with Banks and Ed and Jordan, and I think we won, like, two out of three games. We only played three games, I think. And we won two out of three of them. Alright, right there. Pallet of Honey. So let's just... push it over a little bit, right? that. Another one gonna pop in there? Doesn't look like it, does it? Sure don't look like it. Let's start moving some of these eggs, though, because there's too many eggs again. Man, that's too many eggs. This is like a lot of work, moving these eggs, like, every couple of months. I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I really don't know if it's worth it. those eggs that far at least. Not sure if it's worth it. I mean, it's a lot of money, though. You win all, you only played two? Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't added any of the mods to this game. See, I just keep getting stuck on... Like, they don't really give you much room 
to deal with these. See, that's getting stuck because it's pushing up against one of the other pallets and they're getting stuck. Oh. going on with my bucket? Am I like coming in at that much of an angle, really? Do I go over that one, but not these? Yeah, let's get one more out of the way. Keeps getting pushed up against the side of the building. Like caught on the gutters and stuff. It's not really a power issue. Because look, I can push all these pallets at once. Look at that. Once you get them to where they're not stuck. Or, you're not, or your bucket don't get stuck on the ground like it is now. Come on, keep turning, keep turning. You know, I'm just gonna leave those right there, that's fine. <laughs> well, it looks like the wheat's ready to harvest. So let's, uh, get one of my harvesters. Let's get my harvester and start harvesting the wheat. You also add in government subsidies? Oh, come on, you're gonna get like billions of dollars now. That's what that does. It gives you like billions of dollars like, for doing nothing. Oh, it looks like I'm ready to harvest everything. Uh-oh. Are we going to collect the wheat or the straw as well? I think we're going to, right? I think we're going to collect the straw as well. For the big bucks. So I'll enable the straw swath. And we'll collect wheat. So I've made it that far through an entire season feeding my chickens, and I still have only 11,000 wheat left. So there's not that much extra wheat left over to put into the... into bread production. That's a little concerning. That's a little concerning. Might need to plant more wheat. Just may need to plant more wheat. I just may. The chickens just eat so much. Well, look at all these eggs I got. This is not the best place to store them. You don't normally in a real chicken farm you wouldn't just store all the eggs right outside the big pile like this. Normally it would probably be uh you'd sell them every month. You wouldn't just do this. Can I lift this one up? Yeah. Pick up. Let's just sell these. There you go, let's throw those down right there and sell them. There you go. Thanks for the nineteen hundred dollars for that. Wait, what? What's the egg price right now? Oh yeah, eggs. There's eggs. What month is this? June? I guess they're up there a little bit. Not too bad, 3400 bucks. But they'll be higher in November, it tells me. Oh no, we're in July. Okay, never mind. Close enough. All right, I moved that honey. I moved that honey, and uh, no more honey showed up. So I guess we'll give it another month and see what happens. But here we are. Oh, we're gonna need to put lime on our field. Okay. Now that we know we got a lot of work to do harvesting, 
we're gonna go look at our contracts and we're gonna get several contracts going. I think that's what we do. So far you haven't gotten poop, must because you're actually working on the game. What? Oh, for the government subsidies? I don't know how often... Well, you gotta, you gotta plant... I don't know how it works. I think you do the mod, and then I think you have to go in and plant signs, like government subsidy signs at your field. And then you get a certain amount of money per month or per year for each sign that you have placed. So if all you did is install the mod, you get nothing. You get nothing for that. You gotta actually plant the signs, I think is what it is. So there's one harvesting job. Okay, we'll probably take that to get some barley. Plowing jobs, fertilizing jobs. So let's actually take this one fertilizing. Eh, what's the hard ones that we want to get going first? Looks like cultivating. Looks like cultivating. So we're going to get cultivating field 68 and 70. Which tractor do we want? Well, let's look at cultivators. That big-ass blue one or the big-ass red one? Which cultivator do we want to use? Oh, wrong button. False alarm. False alarm. Wrong button. Wrong button. Kittle almost ended the stream. My bad. My bad. Saving content. Wrong button. Is that the cult cultivator? Uh, cultivators. Cultivators. Where's cultivators? Right there. The big blue or the big red one? Which one do we use? I think the big blue one. This one's 15 meters wide. This one's only 14 meters wide. Alright, so we're gonna rent... We're gonna go in here to contracts and we're gonna take this contract here because it comes with the big blue cultivator and we're gonna do both contracts with this equipment. That's the plan. So we're gonna accept the contract but by borrowing the items, field 68. Field 68. That's 55% full. No honey there, yeah? Okay. That's my stump remover I bought a while back sitting there. Put on my beacon lights. Oh, yeah. Let's go to field 68. Dude, this is a huge cultivator. Holy crap. Uh, I can do cultivating on 73 as well? Okay. Well, I'm going to do the big fields first. And if I'm still not done doing all the work on my own fields, then I'll keep doing other jobs, yeah. Did I miss a rant about YouTube shutting down my stream? No, not at all. Not at all. Nightbot, what's the worst game? Are you asking Nightbot questions? What's the worst game? What do you think the worst game is, Bob? We're in 18th gear right now. Cruising along the highway. Going about 95. I'm actually going about 25. No, I mean, that's what happens on YouTube. And you know what? If I would have actually... If we would have... The, the, the stream that I had started, Mikey, because we stopped... Right when I noticed we were offline, we stopped the video. Like, I told Greg, hey, Greg, stop the video. We, the YouTube's blocked us. And then I said, well, let's just start a new stream. But if we would have just waited for about another two to five minutes, the stream would have came right back up once YouTube saw we weren't showing the video anymore. Um, I knew the video was copyrighted, but what I didn't know is whether they would just take our monetization or shut us down completely. I was, I don't know. And you don't know that until they do it because you can't just look that up. It's like, hey, can we show this? And then you just take the monetization. Or if we try to show this, are you going to delete my stream? And, but, whatever, no big deal. But, 
So we're in the field 68, right through here. Can I fit under these tracks? Can I fit under these tracks? Whoa! That was close. Almost didn't make that. All right, let's unfold this. That seemed pretty tight. Wow, look how big this fucking thing is! Holy crap! Oh my god, this thing's massive! This thing's huge! Alright, lower cultivator and let's uh... Whoa, that dropped some frames there. Let's uh, hire a worker to do this for us. Wow, that's gonna churn through this field. Look at all them big rocks that are coming up. Hey, Alfred, how you doing? Stopping by during intermission? Who's playing? Who's playing? The worst game is Foot Guys. What the hell's Foot Guys? I know Fall Guys. What the hell's Foot Guys? <laughs> oh, man. Intermission, what game? I'm guessing hockey. Like real hockey or Olympics hockey? Oh, yeah, this thing just filled up. Okay. This thing just filled up. Let's go empty. Let's empty your out. Canada versus USA, really? Is America kicking Canada? And this is like men's, right? Like real hockey? Not like girls hockey or something? I mean, they do like mixed of like everything. Like, like they do mixed like men and women for all the other sorts. Wouldn't, shouldn't they do like mixed hockey? Like men and women on the same team? No, because there'd be no women on the team. It'd just be all men probably. I guess that wouldn't work. Foot guys, says Bob Pop. I'm not sure about that one. Not sure about that one. 3 2 USA! 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 Let's go! Emptying this guy out here. Now, of course, it would be more efficient if I left the harvester out in the field and then took a trailer out to empty it and instead of driving the harvester back and forth, but it's not that far of a drive. And I don't have a luxury... I don't have the luxury of having extra tractors and trailers and... We're on a budget here. We only got 534 grand. We're trying to make millions. We're not trying to make thousands. So we're doing what we can with the equipment we got. Someday we'll upgrade and get better stuff. Like, I should get a better harvester. As soon as I see, that's kind of what I'm saving the money for. It's kind of what we're saving the money up for. If when we see one of those mega, like, 500000 or $300,000 harvesters in the store at half price. It's a mobile Fall Guys copy, is that right? Okay. When is someone going to get 420... 42,069 wins? Oh, probably never, Bob. That's way too many wins. You watch the Canadian win, women win 11 nothing. Oh, my God. I mean, that's just like... Shouldn't there be, like, a mercy rule, like, in Little League? Like, the 10-run rule, like, or whatever it is? Was there anything else in the store I wanted to look at? Uh, well, there's a pretty good shallow cultivator. Don't really want that, though. A fent tractor and a mower. No, I don't need any of this stuff. Give me a big harvester because I'll buy that. I'm trying to save my money up to upgrade my equipment and get the big stuff. But right now I don't need it. I can get my field done with this little guy. It works. It does the job. It works. All right, so I got a couple tractors here that aren't being used. I think we're going to take... Hmm... I think we just take this guy right here. You know what? Let's hook him up to the fertilizer spreader. And do a fertilizing contract with him. I saw there was a fertilizing contract. How are we doing with the cultivating contract, by the way? 17% complete. Fertilizing. 
Field 31 for 7400 bucks. Let's accept it. And just drive there right now. I believe that's just right on the other side of the tracks. This way. I'm not looking both ways for the train. I'm not looking both ways for the train. I'm not looking both ways. I got lucky. Foot Guys is a game? You're joking? No, I don't know. Maybe Banks is joking. If they did mixed men's women's, think a few women would make it? Really? <laughs> no mercy rule, but towards the end can't stop. Alfred, is there a rule in hockey? I've always wondered this, okay? Because, like, flipping through the channels, right? You ever see, like, they got, like, my 600-pound life and the 800-pound man and stuff like this? These, like, big fucking glops, you know, that just, like, they can't even, like, get out of their house. When they have to get out of their house, they gotta, like, like cut... They gotta, like, take a window out of the house and get them out of the house on a forklift, right? You've seen these shows. Like, is there a rule in hockey that you can't just put some, like, 800-pound dude in front of the goal and block everything? Or is the goal actually big enough to where, even if you had some 800-pound behemoth sitting there, you'd still be able to get shots around him? I don't know, man. That seems like something somebody needs to think about. Or is there a rule that, like, is there a maximum size in the NHL? Because if there's not, man, if there's not, that's that, that might be something to think about. Foot guys. Kyle's headed out. All right, have a good one, Kyle. You're missing some good questions here. Like, remember the movie Stuck on You? Both of them were in the goal. The Siamese twins. Now, I'm sure that's against the rules to have Siamese twins play goalie. I'm sure that would be against the rule, right? You can't have Siamese twins in the goal. I mean, I know the goal is pretty big. But, like, there's got to be, like, some giant dude out there that's as big as the goal. Right? This guy just completed his contract? Come on. He completed his task? No, he didn't. Learn to turn around, bud. All right, let's hope that guy does the job. Okay, that's there. That guy's cultivating. This guy's harvesting. Let's get this hooked to the loading wagon. And start cleaning up some... Cleaning up some hay. I mean, some straw. Okay. See how much chicken food's left in here? Wow, they almost need to be filled up with food again. I don't know. Is it worth... I mean, I guess I'm getting good money from these eggs. Like, way more than I get from the wheat. Selling it by itself. But what would be more money? Like, wait, I, is there, is there, I wonder if there's a way to figure this out. Like, right now, I'm harvesting wheat, and I'm feeding it to the chickens to make the eggs, okay? Instead of doing that, I could put all the wheat into the flour mill and make a ton of flour, and then all that could be used to be make a ton of bread. I don't know what's better. Oh, I know the bread would be so much less work. The bread would be so much less work than the chickens, I think. And I could make it to where the bread's no work, because I could set it up to automatically sell. But I think you only get 60% if you have it automatic selling versus loading up pallets. Hmm. The eggs are just so much work. All right, not sure if there's a max size or weight in the NHL. You know, Ben Bishop was almost seven foot and tall as a goalie. Few players around 250 pounds. 
Oh, yeah, but you know what I'm talking about. There's, like, I guess you would have to get the guy on skates, right? Like, like you see some of these shows, like the 800-pound man or the 600-pound sisters or, I don't know, they got all these weird shows, like, on, like, Discovery Channel or whatever channels or Bravo or I don't even know what channel it is. There's a whole bunch of shows like that. I guess the limiting factor is they would have to be able to put on skates or somebody would have to strap skates onto their feet and they would have to skate out to the goal. I don't think someone could just like wheel, like forklift them out and drop them in front of the goal. I think they would have to go out to the goal themselves. Maybe you can't block the goal. No, Bob, that's the game. That's the rule. You're, the goalie is, is blocks the goal. That's their job. The job is to block the goal. What if someone calls you Mr. Got Game? That's fine. That's fine. No, actually, I'm just... You guys just call me Kittle Got Game. Mr. Got Game is my father. So... We ju we're just Kittle Got Game. Oops, I lined that up a little wrong. I th yeah, you'd have to have the giant dude skate out on his own. And that, I mean, based on what I've seen of some of these shows, you ain't getting some seven or 800 pound dude skating out to the goal under his own power. Roger Nielsen loved finding all the loopholes in the NHL rulebook. So many rules were added because of him. Look, what was See, that's beautiful, though. You got, like, that's what the rulebook is for, right? And, and same as being a lawyer. I, I respect that as a lawyer, Alfred. You read the laws, right? You read them. You understand them. And your goal should be to find that gray area that's not covered that you can exploit for your clients. That's beautiful. Now, what sucks, though, and I think is bullshit, is then in, instead of, like, celebrating the fact that the guy is smart, and figured out the so-called loopholes, you change the rules on them? I guess maybe that works in Canada, but in America, I guess they would probably do that to people. They do that to people sometimes, depending on what rules they think are being broken. All right, see ya, Alfred. And, like, you can't block it, that they can't get into the goal. Well, that's what I mean. But, like, right now, Bob, if the if the goalie just stands there and does nothing, that's allowed. You're allowed to stand there and do nothing as the goalie. Now, you're probably going to give up a lot of goals if you stand there and do nothing. you got to move side to side to block the shots. But if the goalie was large enough, maybe they wouldn't even have to move side to side. They'd just stand there and do nothing. Which, standing there and doing nothing is allowed. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. See ya, Mikey. Have a good night. I mean, there's got There's all kinds of rules, though. It's like, look at how much padding and protection the goalies wear. Like, the goalies are all... Like, just look at the size of a goalie. They're already, like, a foot wider than they usually are just because of all the padding and everything and all, it's like, so I know there's rules on how much, how the size of the equipment and everything that you put on the people because, yeah, you don't want someone to put on like a four foot wide pad on their leg and block everything and kind of crazy come on Bob, says Marmella <laughs> what? All right, there is another load of grain. Lots of straw to pick up. But that's okay, we get money for that. He's back to doing that. We'll take... Wait. This guy... Okay, he's just turning around. Good. 
go back to this guy and get some more get some more straw picked up okay if you're big but maybe they ask you to stop like back yeah I don't I'm sure like, Bob you're right though you're right though if you actually found somebody like that was just so huge that they blocked the entire goal and that they were able to get skates on and go out and block the entire goal I'm sure they would make a rule saying uh that's not yeah that's not allowed I'm sure somebody would like cry about it and they'd make a rule to, to prevent that because it really would it would it would ruin the game it it wreck the game Makes sense, makes sense. <laughs> Anybody got any big plans for the weekend? Anyone? My plans for the weekend are... I gotta get caught up on some work for sure, because I've been playing too much Fall Guys this week and sleeping in a little bit. So I need to get caught up on a few things there, which I think I'll be able to get that done tomorrow. I'm kind of planning to get that done tomorrow. I need to, uh, for the Super Bowl, is which is on Sunday, I'm going to have to watch that. And uh, cheer on the Rams, I guess, because I'm from Los Angeles, California. And the Rams are in the game, and the game is actually here in Los Angeles, California. So I should probably cheer for the Rams. And, uh... I'll be waking up early on Sunday to put the pulled pork in, because I'm going to make a pulled pork. Saw so that was on sale. Hey, I got a trophy. Helper A does not stop ever. Oh, contract on field 31 finished. Nice. So I must have got a trophy for doing enough contracts or something. I don't know. That was kind of cool. So we're going to go switch over to field 31 right now and fire this guy and uh, collect our money for Field 31. So yeah, I'm going to be making a pulled pork in the crock pot. And then we're going to have that for dinner during the game, I think. I think that's the plan. So collect the money on Field 31. 7000 bucks. Thank you. Any other fertilizing jobs that I feel like doing? No, those don't pay enough. Cultivating on 73. That's not a bad idea to do that one. Harvesting on 33. You know what? Let's do that. Let's accept the contract and borrow the items for field 33. Field 33, I think, is pretty close to where we're at right now, close to the store. Let's be right back through here. Harvester. Collect that. Is that wheat? I think that's wheat. Does it say barley or wheat? It says barley. Okay, I thought that was wheat, but I guess that's barley. Really? Yeah, I guess that's barley. Okay, cool. What if there was a guy who was good and he was getting like five goals a game? Would they ban him? 
Um, I don't think so. If he, like, if he, if he, if he's not breaking any rules, and he's not cheating somehow, he's not using special equipment. I mean, if he's just good, how do you tell somebody you're too good to play the game? But you know what they would do? If someone ends up being too good at a sport, you know what they do? They change the rules slightly to make the game harder. And just think, Bob, look back what happened in the 1990s, late 1990s. Now we're talking a few years before Noah here. Back a few years before Noah. Um, back in the 1990s, there was a golfer named Tiger Woods. Have you ever heard of him? Tiger Woods was so much better, could hit the ball further than most other golfers like that have ever played up to that point. Because a lot of the golfers were just old dudes and they could hit the ball and they were good, they could putt. But Tiger Woods was young and strong and he worked out and built up the right muscles and trained and could hit the ball so much further. And he was setting records on like every course and beating people by like five to ten shots because he could hit the ball so much further and he was still good at the rest of the game too. He just dominated. He dominated. So what did they do? Did they just let Tiger Woods keep winning by five, ten shots every round? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. What they did is they made the courses harder. They It was called tiger-proofing the golf courses. So they changed the course just because of Tiger. So they made each hole a little bit longer. Or they'd put a sand trap in, like where Tiger would hit his drive. They would put a big sand trap there so Tiger couldn't drive the ball. They would do things like that to make it harder for Tiger Woods and to make it e more even for everybody else. So that's what, they, that's what I think would happen if one person just all of a sudden starts doing so much better. They would find a way to make it hard for that one person. Now, of course, after another 20, 30 years, after Tiger came onto the scene and dominated, many other golfers grew up watching Tiger and learning how Tiger became so good that they followed in his footsteps, did similar training, built up and exercised and built the same muscles and trained the same way. So now, they're just as good as Tiger is or was at that time. But because they changed the rules for Tiger, all those golf courses now, you know, keep those players from dominating as well. So it's just Tiger was ahead of his time and they had, the, they had to change the rules basically to keep him from winning every round by a ton. But they couldn't just tell him, uh, you can't golf here anymore because you're too good. But they had to find some other way, for sure. Let's go ahead and get our tractor back home, maybe. I mean, other sports probably do other things. If there's a basketball player that's too good, maybe they'll start calling more fouls against him or looking at what they do more closely and, you know, maybe change the rules slightly to keep them from doing what they do the way, you know, there's, they can do stuff like that in sports. Might not like it, might not be the right thing to do, but they have done that in the NFL, have they? Like change the rule? Well, they did it for kickers, I know that. Because back in the day, like back in the 1980s and 1990s when they would do a kickoff, like the ball wouldn't go as far, you know? So they do the kickoff and then they do the run back and then all of a sudden kickers are kicking so much further and longer. So they have to move like where do they do the kickoffs and stuff. And, and they've changed like how far back you got to start kicking for the extra points. And they, so they change the rules, tweak them here and there. Milo says lag is sus. Hope you're doing all right, Marmelo. Hope the weekend is going well so far. I'm just taking my tractor home here. 
I ain't stopping. I ain't stopping at the train tracks. There ain't nothing coming, is there? Good. Back park there. Let's see, what other contracts? We got this one's active, this one's active. We're going to need a new cultivating job right after this. So field 68, we're going to go right into cultivating field 70. So let's just go ahead and accept that contract right now. So we're ready to jump into it. That's all good there. This guy's almost done. This guy's almost full. So that means we need to take this in the trailer to go empty him out. trailer. The tiger is he is in his 40s now? Oh yeah, I think so now. And he's hurt too. Like he hurt himself real bad by getting in so many car accidents. So So yeah, he's not probably going to be as competitive, but I guess he's trying to make a comeback. He ain't giving up. He will not give up. We're unloading this harvester. can't back up these trailers. I hate these stupid trailers they give you. Why would you buy a trailer you can't even back up? I mean, I guess you can turn them a lot easier going forward, but still. Whatever. Is there anything I wanted to buy in here? No, there wasn't. This guy's got his pipe sticking out, so let's go empty him out. I think what we're going to do is we're going to empty this right out into the chicken coop to make it easy. Let's make it a little easy on us. Now, nah, we'll use the other field to empty at the chicken coop. Because that field's right up there and closer. So we'll empty this into here. you guys all click that like button. I just remembered to do it. <laughs> I didn't click like yet. Oops. And another load to the silo. Contract on field 68 finished. So let's cycle through the 68. Get this guy. Dismiss him. And we're going to fold this up. Go over to field 70. And do our contract over there. With the same equipment we rented. For field 70. Sorry, for 68. Double the money without renting it. I think I just hit a deer. Oops. Uh, oops. That's a weird shaped field, too. Let's go all the way to the other side of it. Whoa, almost hit that car. What am I going to field 69? We just skipped field 69. There's contracts for field 70 and 68. Nobody, the owner of field 69 uh, didn't hire me. Alright, 
There we go. Starting the job. This guy's still harvesting. This guy's waiting. This guy needs to go back to work. Buy a new combine? That's what I want to do at some point, FS22 guy. But right now, this little guy that I started my farms with does the job. It's not the best one. It takes a lot longer. But it does the job. I do have enough money to buy a new one. I do. But what I'm waiting for is for a nice... I'm waiting for one of the one to show up in the used tractor market. That's all we're doing. How much longer will it take? I have no idea. But I'm waiting for one to show up because if I'm going to buy one... I mean, let's look at this. I mean, they're expensive as hell. So we go here to harvesters and just go to like the big boys. They're like 400 grand, 500 grand. You know, I'd rather pay half that. I think I'd rather pay half that price. You know? I mean, we could barely we could barely afford to buy one of these plus the header right now. I don't mind paying full price on the header. But like this here, holy crap. 550 grand. I'm waiting until one shows up used. How much money am I making? M-A-K-I-N-G. No E in making. Uh, we, can sh we can show you that right now. Right now, we can go here. Oh, this one. To our money. And in April, we made 15,000. May, we made 11,000. June, 12,000. So far in July, 13,900. Now, we'd make a lot more money if we sold the stuff we're harvesting right now. But so far, we've just been putting it into our silo to then get, feed it to the chickens and make flour and stuff so we can make eggs and bread and stuff like that. So the month we make the most money is November and December when we sell all our stuff. In those months, we'll make well over $100,000. But tonight's stream, for example, Bob, we started out with right about 500, I think 507,000, and we're up to 542,000. So we are making money. We are making money. We're just not making tons and tons and tons of money. And we got ourselves a load of straw here. We can go sell to get a couple thousand bucks. It's a lot per year, yeah. Farmers uh, do pretty well if you got a big farm operation. But you saw the price of the equipment. That big harvester I want to buy costs half a million dollars. So, although you can make good money farming, uh, farming's expensive too. So let's sell this load of straw. Now we're up to 544,000. 545,000. And, uh, yeah, $2,300 for a tractor load of straw. Yeah, if I see a bigger loading wagon, one of these bigger, uh, wagons, the sweepers, in the market, I'll buy that too. So that's what I'm kind of, I'm trying to, like, buy used stuff. Now, if I, ha unless I have to get something right away, then I'll buy a new thing. But I don't, look, I can hire a worker. That guy's doing a good job. It's getting the job done. Sure, we could get a lot more done a lot faster if we had bigger equipment, but we're getting it done. It's, it's not a struggle. We're getting it. We're getting it. Just like this sweep, this wagon that I'm pulling right here. This only holds 23,000 liters. There are wagons that you can get that hold double that. But this is the one I bought. But I, I can't remember if I bought this one new or if I got it used. I can't remember, but this is the one I got. It gets the job done. And I put the sale point right there. Worker D has a full grain tank, so let's go empty Worker D's. Grain tank out right now to keep him working. And of 
course we turn crop destruction off so we can go like right through here and empty out. John Argent, how you doing? Almost fill up this trailer. 83% full. We might have to uh, go figure out where we sell this. We need to check our contract terms and conditions. What if a guy played a game and in the game he made money and he made it make it like a full-time job and he was making zero in 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 real life? Uh, Bob Pop, I know a lot of people that play games all day and don't make real money. They're called bums. They're called bums. A lot of people, a lot of, there's a lot of people that live at, like, older dudes that live at home, still live with mommy and daddy, don't make any money for themselves, and just sit at home and play video games all day. There are people that do that. There are absolutely people that do that. Because their parents let them do that, and... <laughs> <laughs> what was I looking for? The contract, right? Uh, harvesting. Take it to the feed and grain south. All right, let's go sell this at the feed and grain south. Yeah, that's really far away, too. But part of the job. We gotta do some driving. Better than your dud box of quarters. No W's, no O nines, no nothing, no silver. No silver? I thought you guys were supposed to always get silver. No, no silver quarters. Quarters are tough. But Bob, I guess that's why a lot of people do streaming of games, too. Like, right now, if you refresh my stream or leave my stream and come back, there'll be an advertisement, most likely, on the stream telling you that you have to watch the ad for five seconds, and then you can skip the ad or keep watching the ad. Because it, we force you to watch that ad for five seconds, and don't let you skip it right away. Or if you watch the full ad, I get paid a little bit of money. Am I gonna be able to get through here? Oh, I was trying to, I was trying to take a shortcut, and that's not gonna work. What is this? A fire pit? What the hell is this? Is that supposed to be water? Is that supposed to be a well or a sprinkler? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, so I'm getting paid to play games right now. I'm getting paid to play games right now. I don't I'm not getting paid a lot, but getting paid to play games right now. So that's at least something. Why don't they kick kids out if they're like 40? Um, that's that's a good question sometimes. Some parents, uh, don't do that. But yeah, why don't they, right? Why don't they? Well, you know, there's some people out there that just can't get a job or don't want to work or can't work or maybe they're disabled or things like that or and so the parents let them live at home because it's cheaper because if they didn't let them live at home they'd be out on their own begging the parents for money all the time anyway 
So you might as well let him live at home and be cheaper. Maybe that's it. I don't know. What's up, Isaac? I'm just going to sell some... Sell some... Barley right now on a contract. Heading over to the Feed and Grain South down here. Trying to make some money. You feel like when you're 30 years old is when you're too old to live at home? Uh, back in the old days... Like, 18 years old is when you used to move out of the house. 18. Go out and get your own house. Go, go out on your own. Get a job. 18 years old. That's what it always used to be. And then in the last 20, 25 years or so, that number's pushed back a few years or forward a few years. A lot of it, you know, because more people are going to college and, you know, it's just a little bit different of a world than... Start overloading the barley. All right. So it's a little bit different, but... Yeah, but so yeah, most people leave or they're at college and they just come home for the summer only. Like, I went to college when I was 18, but then I still came home and lived with my parents during the summer for two months. But while I was at college, I had my own apartment. I had my own stuff. But... But yeah, there's some people that, uh... And then once you graduate college when you're 22, 23, maybe 24, 25, then yeah, most people move out and do their own thing. But not everybody. Not everybody. Not all of them. Let's cycle through to make sure my workers are working. Like, this guy here is not working. So let's, uh... Go empty out. Empty out his pipe. You don't go to school again? You graduated from high school three years ago? Oh, really? Are you doing any college or anything, Isaac? Or any other school at all? Or are you, just, are you, are you thinking about it? Or are you done? Or are you, like, done for good? Dunsky. Done. Finito. Mello says, ah, keep hunting that silver. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, Marmello. You gotta keep... I mean, if you... To find silver, you gotta search for silver. And... You can't let any fancy YouTube videos out there make you think it's easy, because, uh... It's a grind sometimes. Nubs was just in here. Nubs hunts treasure. Uh, he was in here not too long ago telling us, I think he had, like, 17 boxes of half dollars in a row. That had nothing. Nothing. That's, like, a lot of coins to go through. For nothing. For nada. For nothing. But, that's what you do. Isaac says, I'm done for good. Alright, alright. Well, he says he's done for good. Right, this guy's back to work. This guy's fine. That guy's fine. This guy, we're gonna fire that worker because I can't empty him out yet anyway. We're gonna drive this back up to the field. But don't some become a doctor so they maybe moved out? Oh yeah, Bob, like if you want to become a doctor, like I have a friend, uh, she's a couple years older than me, and she's a doctor right now. So when she was in school, she graduated high school when she was like 18. All right, Bob, that's when you usually graduate high school about 18 years old then she went to college until she was about 22 or so and she'd still live at home I mean at school she had her own place but when she'd come home from college she'd be living at home and then she went to medical school for another few years but when she like when it was summer vacation and stuff or like she didn't like really live out on her own yet she might have had an apartment or a place at school but she still came home 
and lived at home too. And then she went to medical school and did her residency and training and everything. So I don't think she was like fully done with all that until she was about 30. Until she was totally done with all that. And then she found a job working at a big hospital and she bought a house and moved there. So yeah, she didn't probably really move out until, yeah, until she was about 30 or so. But I think it's a little different if, and in, in some people, they don't really go away to college. Some people go to college near where they live, near where their parents live, like a community college or just somewhere in town or within a drive to save a lot of money. Like I have friends that do that, or I know people that have kids that do that. Like they still live at home because then they don't have to spend money on a dorm room and traveling and so there's 20, 21, 22 years old, still living at home, going to school. Think different for every person. You're gonna host a car meet in GTA 5. You want to join? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have any good cars, Isaac. I would. Ha I don't even think. I mean, I don't even know what to do in a car meet. I'd get on there, and then some guy on a jet bike would come blow me up. <laughs> And Marmello wouldn't watch me if I played GTA 5, would you, Marmello? I bet Marmello might watch, you think? Maybe Marmello would watch if we played GTA. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. Unless he thinks it's too sus. Why is that not emptying? Why the hell did that not empty out? Was I not close? I thought it was close enough. Oh, you know what? It's probably because I fired the worker. So I need to get in the harvester now. And then now it empties. Okay. USA! 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 Woo! Well, that's good. Now, is Canada out of it then, Alfred? Or is it still like the early parts where they can still have a chance to get back into it? Canada's not out, are they? But if you're just playing video games and not trying to get... Yeah, Bob, see, that's different. If you're just not trying to either get an education or not working full-time and supporting your family or, you know, if you're just living at home and playing video games all day, I mean, that's, I guess, people, people do that for sure. And it's... I guess it's up to their parents whether they want to keep supporting their grown-up child doing that. I mean, most people wouldn't want to do that. Most people would say, get out, go get a job. But there are people that, uh... Yeah, there are people that, uh... live at home and do nothing but play video games. Or they're on the internet doing nothing all day. Or There are people. Canada has to light up China for at least eight goals. Oh, really? The, the number of goals matter? That's kind of wild. I didn't know that. I thought, like, it was just a win. So there is an incentive, then, to run up the score on crappy teams. Interesting. Interesting. Well, and, the, and Bob, I know other people that live at home with their parents and they're older, like in their 30s or even 40s, because their parents are real old or sick or something like that to where they really can't take care of themselves too much. So maybe that's just good for the family. Maybe that's just what the family decides, like that one of the kids is going to stay home and take care of the parents and basically live at the house and you know take care of the family maybe that's part of their deal I don't know I've, I've heard of that happening but there are people that are just bums yeah when someone is too old to live at home playing video games all day <laughs> why is Bob is that what you want to do when you get older do you want to stay at home and play video games all day and live with your parents forever 
Is that your goal? <laughs> Wins are meaningful with the goal differentials tiebreaker. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right. Weird. I mean, I guess that makes sense, though. Guess that makes some sense. Go ahead and top this off. Collect some straw. Just free money laying here in the field. All we gotta do is pick it up. All we gotta do is pick it up. Bob's like, no, that's not my goal. Okay, Bob, just wanna make sure. Do I get notified every time you go live? No, I don't, Isaac. No, I don't. I subscribed to you, but I did not enable notifications. I did not. You don't like to blame it all on one dude. You can safely say the two mistakes that the Canadian goalie made cost the game. Yeah, Alfred, but, you know... I don't know, it's tough. It's tough, though. The goalie, it's like... Like... Of course, every goal's gonna go by the goalie. It's like, so... It's hard to... It's like hard... You, and nobody gets shutouts every time, so... It's a tough position to be in, you know? It's a tough position to be in. Unless... I mean, sometimes, I guess, they make obvious bonehead moves, but... But can you really hold that against them when you look at the total number of shots and how many shots they saved as well? I mean, it just, it's got to be tough. It's got to be tough. Do I have a two job? Do I have a two job? I mean, do I like have a job? Yeah, I sell coins. I'm a part-time coin dealer. I'm also a lawyer. I do legal work. I do tax work. But I'm self-employed. I don't have a boss. I'm the boss. I work when I feel like it. I can sleep in till noon if I feel like it. I can stay up till one in the morning if I feel like it. But I gotta make sure I, you know, get my work done. Otherwise, I don't make money. And if I don't make money, I can't pay my bills. And if I can't pay my bills, then I'm gonna have to, like, call my parents and ask if I can move in and I'll be a 41-year-old dude living at home with my parents playing video games. And I don't want that either, Bob. I don't want that either. <laughs> I don't want that either. Really stupid play behind the net. Yeah, you know what? When they do stuff like that, Alfred, like when they leave the net, or... Yeah, it's like... You gotta have a little bit more awareness, you know? So yeah, stuff like that I guess you can blame, but... when you know it was like a stupid mistake like that and the goal wasn't just because of a great shot by the American then yeah I guess guess you can start pointing some fingers AI Worker G has nearly a full grain tank. Oh, wow, okay. Well, let's cycle through and make sure no one's just sitting there doing nothing. This guy's almost full. So let's empty him out while we're here. I got... Eh. Oh, yeah. This guy got stuck on some eggs, it looks like. Okay. What a dummy. Can't turn around because there's eggs. You kidding me? Are you scared to break an egg or two? You gotta go. Talk to you later, Isaac. The winning goal was a straight-up giveaway from behind the net. Fourth U.S. goal was a slap shot that squeaked through the pads. Should have had up to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. That sucks. How do I stream law work and coins? Well, I don't stream my law work. I don't do that. 
Or do you mean how do I stream with all that work? Uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta budget your time. You know, you gotta like. That's why last night when I was playing Fall Guys, I kept saying I gotta go. I gotta get sleep. I got stuff to do tomorrow. I got stuff to do. I can't be streaming till one or two in the morning. And then I keep playing, and I, you, and you know, I gotta, you gotta stick to a plan. And I broke that plan last night, and that meant I had to get up earlier this morning try to get stuff done and then I didn't get everything done but that means I got more work to do this weekend so I gotta get caught up or if I get a bunch of if I do too much if I got too much work to do either with the law work or the coins then I just don't stream that night I can skip a night where I don't stream as much like for example next week for the coin business I have to go to a show at the Long Beach Convention Center where I set up and sell coins. Those nights, like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday next week, I will not be streaming five-hour streams or three-hour streams. I will be streaming maybe an hour when I get home, if I feel like it, or two, or maybe not at all. Maybe I won't stream those nights. It's possible I don't stream a couple nights next week. It's possible. What's the sign over here? Oh, it's a sign for the bowling alley. The red marble bowl. Can I buy the bowling alley? Ooh, frizzy spriz! Oh, I wish I had some frizzy spri spriz extreme right now. All of the spiz and twice the frizz. I wish I had some of that right now. U.S. goalie played well except for the first goal, really. That's good, well, go America. Go America. Didn't we realize Long Beach was during the week? Alfred, the Long Beach Coin Expo is open to the public February 17th through 19th. It's Thursday and Friday all day, 10 to 6, I believe. And then Saturday, I think it's 10 to 4. But Wednesday during the week is dealer setup day from noon till 8 p.m., I believe. And during dealer setup day, usually I do just as much business with dealers as I do with the public. So often I'll make more sales and purchases and everything on Wednesday before the show opens to the public than I do the entire rest of the show. It's happened before. So you definitely got to be there during dealer setup. Definitely. Because not only do dealers come by and try to buy all your good stuff to, so they can put it in their own cases, and if you got it for a good price, great, sell it. I don't care who I sell it to. Or they're trying to fill stuff on want lists for customers, and if it's stuff that's going to a customer, they'll pay your price because they'll just charge the customer more and say, hey, man, that's what it costs. You know, Don't be beating me up about the price. Oh, look at the deer. Look at the deer. So, yeah. Wednesday is set up. Can I do Fall Guys soon? I don't know if I'm going to do Fall Guys for sure, Banks. I'm thinking of it. I'm thinking of doing it. Let me fire that worker real quick. Probably going to do it. Maybe. I kind of want to. But... What are we thinking, Banks? Squad mode? Extreme squads? Do we have other players that would be on our team? I mean, be, or do we wait, or do I wait like another hour until Ed wakes up, and then we get our same squad again? <laughs> wait till Ed wakes up and does toilet and stuff, and get that guy working some more. This guy is filled. So what we gotta do is let's clean up this field, because he missed a bunch of spots. Do I have a coin shop? No, I don't have my own store. I sell mostly online, like I got a website and I do eBay, and I sell on YouTube from time to time. That probably wasn't worth the effort to get that little tiny bit of extra barley. 
bowling alley looks like the one in the big Lebowski, kinda, yeah, kinda. Why this harvester and this worker miss these little patches? Uh, we'll scoop them up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ed should be getting ready to play any minute now, huh? Isn't this about Ed's time of the night? I mean, Ed came in pretty late last night. I was ready to end the stream and then Ed pops in and I'm like, come on, he's like squats, like, you know what, let's let, let's do that. That does sound like a good idea. And then I ended up playing for another hour and a half. <laughs> Alright, that is that. Now we got all this barley to go deliver. Before we get that going, let's get our harvester back working. What are we gonna do? Oh, I got a fire worker. That's it. Right. Let's go feed the chickens. Put this right here. <laughs> Albert says, "Hi, Rob." Oh, one of those boats po one of those ah, one of those bots posted in Rob's chat during the auction. That means it had to subscribe to do that. Really? Really? That's kind of wild. I didn't think about that. Maybe I should turn on subscribers only mode. You know? I mean, what's the real downside? I don't have some little shit in here telling me to play like something different or whatever. Unless they subscribe, right? Because right now, I have no idea if anybody subscribed. But, I mean, I like... I mean, at least for the coin stuff and the coin club, I mean... I don't know. I, I like to welcome in new subscribers, and I guess you can set it to where new subscribers can type, like, right away, or they only have to wait a minute. I've seen other people, like, they've set it to where new subscribers can't talk for, like, hours, or even in, like, whatever it is, but... Maybe I should set it to subscribers only and just... Maybe I'll get more subscribers that way. I don't know. Maybe. But I guess when I first looked at that, I don't... I didn't really love the whole subscribers only thing. It's like, I mean, it's like, you know what? Let people come in here and feel comfortable to chat and hang out. And maybe if they like it, then they'll subscribe. And if they don't, then let them fucking go somewhere else. I don't care. But... I guess, I just thought, like, if you have it subscribers only from the start, maybe people, like, won't even give you a chance. They'll be like, oh, fuck this guy. I don't know. I mean, I guess that's kind of what I thought. Don't do what that cat channel did and make it for a year. Was it really that long? I know it was it was a long time. Like, we couldn't just do it. <laughs> like, like, that was just crazy, wasn't it? Ah, yum. Ice cold water. Yum. Anyway, I didn't get to watch most of Rob's streams. I was getting ready for my coin club and all that, but hopefully Rob's stuff went well. And Did he end up finding silver? I don't know. I might have to check that out. I didn't enter the, the giveaway because I knew I wasn't going to be there watching, so I don't need to see that if I... But I did see Vern's name get picked. That was kind of cool. I was there for a little bit and I saw Vern got picked. V-E-R-N. A freaking year! <laughs> yeah, how would that do for my channel, Alfred, if I set my game channel to subscribers only and you can't chat for a year? Like, you think any of the kids would ever subscribe to me and remember to come back a year later? <laughs> we should almost subscribe to the cat channel, right? And then set in our calendar or we'll have one person set in the calendar. Don't forget to go back to the cat channel. It's been a year now and we can finally chat. We should do it just so we can go there and tell them, Hey guys, fuck you for waiting, making me wait an entire year just to say hi to the cats. 
and then uns uh, I'm unsubscribing, you know, that's what we would type. We should almost do it just to then go unsubscribe a year later. It might be funny. I don't know. <laughs> then they'd probably just ban us anyway. Contract on field 70 finished? Oh, let's go. Let's go. I like it. I like it. Well, that thing just filled up. Contract on field 70 finished. But I think I got three contracts going right now, so... I can't start another one without canceling something else. But I can cancel this one. I don't want to cancel this one out yet, even though it's finished. Because that's where I leased the equipment. So I'm going to collect, collect on 70. There we go. I'm still leased the equipment on 68. Now let's go find another cultivating job to do. Like field 73, which is right next to me. And we're going to accept the contract there. Because we can take this. And fold this up and drive right over to 73. And make another three grand with this real quick. And we're going to get the field next to me going. And maybe we'll plant something cool there for, for a worker. Or for the owner. And then if we plant something cool there, we'll fertilize it. And then if we get it going to where it looks like a nice crop, maybe we'll just buy the land and then get a free crop that we planted for and got paid for planting. Maybe we do that. Let's go, cats! Marmello's down for subscribing for an entire year. Subscribing for an entire year just to go in there later and tell them, how dare you make me wait a year to send you a $2 New Zealand super chat, and then I'm unsubbing or something. <laughs> no, exclamation point meow. Exclamation point meow is the Kit Kat playroom. I wonder if the one, I think the one kitty cat had, oh, uh, they were showing the one cat for the last few days. She was pregnant and getting ready to have kittens. I bet she had her kittens by now. Exclamation point meow. No, Matt was clever not knowing how to type cat on the keyboard because his C key was broken. So instead he just caught, typed in Matt. So when we were in the cat room, he just kept calling them mats. And the lady, one lady was getting real mad, like, why do you keep calling them mats? And then, she, then he got banned from the cat room. So clever coin name, banned from the cat chat. Oh man, that got caught on the frickin' telephone pole. Now we gotta fold this in. Pull forward, now unfold it again. Get that car out of my way. Can't Farm implement should have the right of way, you know? Lower. And... We're gonna hire the worker to do this for us. Let's go! Exclamation point meow. Please kitties, 24-7 Kit Kat playroom. Okay, meow. Yeah, that one I don't think you have to be subscribed. Even though, of course, I'm subscribed. Of course. All right, I got to take this all the way down to the other end of the map and sell this. And hopefully we get to keep some of it, too. I think we will. You're going to go say I unsubbed to the cat room? No, Banks, that's the good cat room. You don't have to go in there and say that. No, you don't have to go to the Kit Kat playroom. It was a different cat channel we're talking about. A different cat channel that we had the link for, but then they changed it to where you had to be a subscriber for a full year. No, the cat link right there is a good one. You don't have to mess with them. No. No, 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 no. Remember the other cat room, the Wobbly Cats? And then, like, somebody wrote me a letter to, like, that they were mad at me for making fun of the cats? Like, I wasn't making fun of the cats. We were trying to help the cats, if anything. Like, we had people get on there and give super chats to buy cat food and stuff. Like, what the fuck? Maybe you could make it members chat. Well, I wouldn't want to make it members only chat, 
about? Because, like, then you couldn't talk. Because you're not a channel member right now. So if I made it members only chat, I'd be chatting with just Banks and Marmello and Alfred right now. That's it. Which I'm fine with that. I'll chat with them. They're cool. But then I wouldn't get to chat with you. And then, yeah, maybe that would get you to pay 99 cents for the membership. But I don't want you to pay 99 cents for a membership only just to be able to chat. I want you to do that on your own decision because you want to do it or you're able to do it. If you can't do that or you don't want to do that, that's fine. You should still be able to chat and hang out with us. I'm not going to get mad if someone doesn't do membership. No, I. there are coin channels. There's coin channels that I've seen. They do members only. I haven't seen them do members only chat. Well, actually, I did see one do that. I saw one coin channel do members only chat before. And I didn't like it. I thought it was stupid. And it was and I thought it excluded a lot of people, including myself. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna watch this. See ya. And I've seen other people like I've seen members only auctions. I've seen a few of those. That's a little bit different, but eh. I wouldn't do it myself. Or I was like, easy bank station, sim it down now. Don't be going to don't be hating on any cat channels tonight, please. You remember when Ran asked how long they cooked them for and what side this is? Oh god. Yeah, I don't think Ran likes cats very much, Alfred. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad, Alfred. <laughs> and then I got timed out for doing a super chat. Yep. So, Bob, you wouldn't want me to do members only chat. That'd be bad, right? I don't think that's good. I wouldn't. I don't like doing that. But I could see doing subscribers only, maybe, just to see if it helps me get more subscribers. But. Then again, like, I'm thinking, it's like, would that keep people, would that, like, make some people, like, not even watch me at all in the first place if they came in right away and said, well, I can't even say hi to this guy, screw him. And, like, would we lose people? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go over here. Overload some barley. Mason Shuff, how you doing? You're tired? What? Pinks, why would you go into the cat room and mess with them? Don't do that. Don't do that. That's not cool. Hey, Michael, how you doing? It's 12.48 in the morning for you? Woo. Is this a multiplayer game? Sorry, I missed your comment earlier, Mason. Um, yeah, you can do multiplayer on this and you can buy servers and like invite people and like do farms with multiple people Yes. All right. So what I'm doing here. This is a contract. I'm doing this is barley for a contract on field 33 We're 94% done as soon as I see it says contract finish I need to stop overloading and I get to keep everything extra. So let's try to do this Okay, I'm overloading as soon as I see it in the upper right corner say contract finished I need to stop this. Not seeing it yet. Uh, contract finished. Okay, I stopped. Contract finished. I sold a little extra. Now I could just sell all this and I get the money. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm, now that contract is finished, I'm going to take all the rest of this barley over to my f grain mill and make flour out of it. I'm getting free flour out of this. Then I'm going to take all that flour and make some bread with it. Bob, no, no, seriously. I want, if you ever want to be a member of the channel, I want that to be a 100% decision that you make. No pressure from me. You're just as cool to me if you're a member or if you're not or whatever. It's your choice. It's optional, 100% optional. They called you Hun. Thanks. Seriously, that's not cool. Why would you go over there and mess with people? That's not good. Don't do that. Don't don't be toxic. Don't be toxic. Mm. 
but if you'd like to be a member and it's a decision you make and it, and you can afford to do so and it won't put you in any bad position you're very welcome to do that sometime not gonna I'd be I'd be thankful to have you no problem why is this worker not working right here why is this worker not working what does this work the worker quit that worker got up and quit man it's so hard to get good help these days so hard to find good help these days There we go. Hey, third Michael Villa, have some hot tea. And what is that, lemonade? Or is that milk? Is that milk? Looks yellow on my phone. Looks yellow. Mason, do you play Farm Sim? Or are you just hanging out? Good to see you. Again, if you guys have not yet clicked that like button and not yet subscribed to the channel, it would be a lot cooler if you did. It would help me out. Appreciate all the support. What's up, Ed? Hey, guys. Eduardo's here. Good morning, Ed. How you doing? How long did you play Fall Guys today, or yesterday, Ed? And how many crowns did you get on them extreme squads? Dude, it was real fun doing extreme squads with you and Banks and Jordan. I mean, I know, like, you guys are better than me, but look, I'm not horrible, okay? I'm not horrible. I help a little bit, okay? Like, a little bit, right? Like, a little bit? I think I help a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's empty the barley in here. Make some flour. <laughs> Jeeping John says, give me $5 and I will. Oh, you mean like and subscribe? Nah, it's okay, Jeeping John. I don't need him that bad. No. <laughs> What's up, Jeep? Alright, so we just put the barley in there. I think we need to turn on production. No active production. So let's manage the production plant. And we'll go to barley and we're going to activate production of flour. There we go. Flour is activated. Now what this does is it does barley flour. The recipe for making barley flour is 30 barley turned into 23 bags of flour. And it goes through that recipe 600 times per month. And it's doing it right now and we've already made three liters of flour. Awesome. Awesome. Hey Ed. Oh, you didn't get, you didn't do it a lot? Hey, Fatan, how you doing? You got 1,933 wins. Been watching on the TV and had to get on your phone to type. <laughs> That's funny. Can I play? Yeah, I've, I've done that too, Jeep. Like, I've watched people stream on my TV. Like, I guess the old version of my YouTube app on my TV, like, I couldn't see chat at all. But I get it now when I watch. Like, I can bring up live chat and it, like, scrolls across the side of my screen. But there's no way I can chat, but I can actually see chat. Like, it lets me do that at least, but... Yeah. Which is kind of cool that you can, like, at least see that. So, yeah. So then it lets you see all of Marmello's crazy emojis all over the screen then, right? <laughs> Make some beer? I don't think you can do beer in this game. I wonder if that's a... Uh... There's got to be a mod for Farm Sim 22 where you can turn the barley or the wheat, make wheat beer or something. Yeah, there's got to be a way. And then there's honey now. Maybe you can make some mead. That'd be actually pretty cool. You got tw you got up to 20, 20, 24 crowns, Banks? Damn. 80 inches of farming simulator. Holy crap. That's great. Banks and Ed, you want me to play Fall Guys? I kind of want to play a little Fall Guys. Damn. I kind of want to play for a little bit. Alright, I guess we could probably do that. Contract on Field 73. Finished. I just need to wrap up a few things here. Put some stuff away. Empty out a few machines. And I guess we'll close her down. 
You reached 238 subscribers? Well, congratulations. Road to 250, man. You're almost at 250. From what I hear and what I've experienced, the first 250 are the toughest. The first 250 are the toughest. So once you get through that, the next 250 is so much easier. Just keep, keep at it. Keep having fun with it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just start lining up equipment. I'm just going to set this right here so I know where to continue the next time I play. Right about there. This guy's good right where he's at. That guy's good where he's at. This guy's fine. Wait a minute. We got more honey here all of a sudden. Okay. We got more honey. Let's push this honey out of the way. This is how you do it. If you've ever worked in a factory and drove a little bobcat, you just push shit out of the way like that with the, with the dump bucket on. That's how you do it. All right. It's just that easy. Okay. That guy's good. This guy, let's fire him because the contract on that's complete. Free until the 14th. What's free? Fall Guys is free today. What? No. No, really? Like, in the PlayStation Store, Fall Guys is free. Could anyone confirm that? How, how can we confirm that? Hmm. Can we confirm this? I gotta activate production of bread, actually. Barley flour, that's gonna distribute, and that's gonna go there. I gotta go in the contracts. Cultivating. Harvesting complete, so we gotta collect that. Uh, collect this, and collect this. We just made a bunch of money. We're up to $582,000. And uh, we still got a lot of work left to do on our own farm. A lot of eggs and honey to sell at some point. But until next time, I think, uh... We're gonna call it an evening. We're gonna call it an evening. You're watching in PS4 now, you look... But Jeep, don't you already have Fall Guys? I think if we already have it, it just tells us purchased. It won't even tell you that, uh... Alfred's like, I can't believe I paid $20 for that game! Well, th well they're gonna make it free for everybody pretty soon. Because that's what they're going to go to, like, it's going to be like Fortnite, Alfred, I think. Where they're going to make it free for everybody and then just start charging more for, like, the skins and, like, the battle passes. And they're going to try to milk all the people for a bunch of money somehow. I think that's their plan, so. It's true, it's true, huh? It's a free weekend event. Well, maybe I'll start a stream and we'll try to get people to download it and play with us for free. Alright, guys, thanks for watching us play some Farm Sim 22. I'm going to go refill my water and this. I'm going to end the stream, refill my water, and then uh, work on starting up a Fall Guys stream. I should be live in the next three to five minutes. Maybe I'll see you over there. Talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.